Hello YouTube, uh, I'm back and it's with another Town Hall 10 uh, video. Uh, I decided today I was going to go through my farming composition for Town Hall 10, which is where I'm really pushing uh, for Dark Elixir at the moment. I uh, see so I've got 100k at the moment and uh, I need 115 for my Barb King. He's lagging behind a bit to be honest, a uh, little, little bit embarrassing but that's okay, we'll be fine. All right. So uh, I'm still on the clan games, just a couple more things to do. So I've opted to go for the 150,000 gold from a single multiplayer battle. Uh, and we're going to run with, uh, you can see above me up here, QCM, Queen Charge Miners. Um, so there is Queen Walk Miners or Queen Charge. I tend to push in with the charge. Uh, so using the wall breakers, the extra rage to try and get a little extra value and carve out that base. So uh, we are going to have a look at what we've got here. I'm going to boost the heroes. Um, boost. And I don't use a CC. I'm, I'm not reliant on a CC. And I'm farming down crystal crystal gold area um, is the plan. So I'm going to show you my troop composition now. So I run with uh, 26 miners, 2 baby dragons there to help the funnel. The 4 healers for the queen. And 4 wall breakers just to push her through. Um, I normally use the wall breakers under rage, so um, I'm going to show you my attack log really quick. So, obviously a lot of 100%s. Um, this was a legit fail um, on 80, uh, the 81% there. Um, I accidentally hit my queen ability when I wanted to drop my king. Uh, the 98% was a purposed, um, like I didn't want to get the trophies. So I'm dropping trophies or trying to drop trophies. So I don't want to get the triple all the time unless it's necessary. Uh, but normally, if that's your thing, go for it. So we're going to just randomly spot an attack and see what happens. So hopefully, like last time, this works really well. Um, I need 150,000 gold, so we're going to skip that base. We're going to try and uh, get the clan games done at the same time, while also hitting a reasonable base. Town Hall 9, no. So here's a big ring base, Town Hall 10. Um, let's see what we can get along here. We can pick up two of the wizard towers. <clears throat> Reasonably easy here. So we're going to pop one of those there. Queen. So there's the queen down. So we're going to wall break in. Uh, and now it's just a, a patience game. Uh, this is a slow attack. It does take pretty much the full three minutes a lot of the time. Uh, and that's okay. So need an air defense down here. We're going to pop a rage in for the queen to do a bit more damage and also for the healers. So that's the main thing. What we're aiming to do is basically carve a really nice path uh, in this base. So if she's going to keep walking that way, then we are going to start the miners on this side. Which it looks like she is, so we're okay here. We will pop a rage here. Hope that she walks into it. Uh, and we're going to start the miners on their path down here. And we're going to hold back four. So not terribly phased on all of this. We'll pop a heel over here. So this is where they're going to be sitting under um, splash and a lot of um, extra firepower. Got to pop the king in. Pop the queen ability while she takes out that sweeper and from there we should be good. So another heal comes down on these uh, back up you guys. And then we should be able to pop the baby drag straight into the middle. Pop the bug king ability and four miners directly to the core as well. So we're looking okay here. Um, I have not been healing my miners. But that's okay, only point defensive. And so that's pretty much the gist of the base, um, the gist of the attack. 
So what I like to do is basically carve a nice reliable path and then there was a nice thin strip that I could race down that left hand side uh, of the base. As you can see, we're still going here. Queen is still up, king's down, but that's okay. Um, and queen should be okay here. We lost a couple of healers looking at it, but no more defense. Like I said, it's a slow attack, so it does take that full uh, three minutes generally, or very close to. So this, I don't need it to be a triple, so I'll probably end it at 99% just to prove a point. Um, now let's keep it a triple, who cares? It looks better on paper, doesn't it? So that's the gist of the attack on a ring base. Um, you can set the funnel, but because of the uh, position of the air defenses, um, it made it very difficult for me to use my baby dragons effectively. So I basically had to um, leave myself open to whatever way the queen wanted to walk and then counter. The other option is if the queen walks into one side of the base, you converge and meet with the miners uh, while everything else is being trimmed. So hopefully we'll find a base that suits that next. Um, let's pick another clan games. Let's go for 150,000 elixir this time. Uh, and we don't have a king, but we do have a full army. So we'll train up another one there. And like I said, um, I'm not reliant on the CC for this attack. Uh, you could bring in CC miners or CC bowlers or anything um, to really carve out a huge chunk of that base in the middle with uh, king and queen moving in, but that's just not for me. Um, I don't want to be dependent on that to be able to farm effectively, so that's uh, I just don't run with the CC. Super professional. It's 2 a.m., but we're good. Uh, just barely. I don't want that base, though. That's more like it. I think we can agree that this is the better base to hit. Not a lot of point D on the queen if she goes here, so we are going to put that in. Hopefully pick up the air defense before she gets targeted by anything. Or by anything major. And there it is. So heaps of value on there. Rage comes down. We're going to open up that far compartment and this one here. She's going to step up and get the enemy queen, which is good for us. Um, doesn't bother the miners too much. That's one thing you don't have to worry about um, too much. Okay, so Baby Drake's going to start up here, um, just help things along a little bit. So, not reliable pathing. Just a couple of them to help out. So this is where we're going to run that converging attack. So we're looking okay here. Baby Drag has worked its way around up top. Another Rage comes down for the healers. They are getting absolutely smoked here. So heal's going to come down for the miners. Alright, and we're going to send in another baby drag directly at that archer tower. Uh, we want that dark elixir, guys. And we also need the elixir itself for the 150,000 challenge. Um, yeah, so CC didn't have to worry about that on this base, which is cool. But yeah, this is a much slower attack. So we poison, nah, too late. And so we poison the heroes normally if that's the case. Still have queen ability. Uh, planning on saving that for a little bit longer. Um, so healers are now in the core. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait very patiently uh, and everything should converge about here. Uh, we're putting those in. Queen's going to pop ability very shortly now. Boom, ability popped. 
35 seconds left on the clock and that's another triple so um, again back to back on the six pack which is always a bonus when you're attacking live but a slightly different base that second time and you can sort of see how I decided to have the miners converge with the queen uh, what that opens it up to for good or bad depending on how the base is going is for your healers to switch to your miners um, and keep them up especially if they path around some different um, areas and then the queen if she still has ability uh, you're okay you can just hold off and wait for that timing uh, everything will then converge and then you use your other baby dragon and things like that if you hold a couple of miners back you can direct target whatever you want to finish so that's kind of the idea um, behind the queen charge miners so things to look for uh, with those bases is to make sure that you can get that L shape um, that's a huge thing um, either you want that thin strip straight up the middle or one of the sides or you want to have that nice L shape just so that you can path your troops um, very effectively during the stages so they'll all link up and basically roll their way around the base together making maximum use of the spells that you drop um, other important things um, super high level walls miners don't care um, having those rages then you can wall break through pretty much any wall um, other cool points is um, key objectives that you want with your queen walk or your queen charge is big lots of heavy splash damage heroes in a CC um, if it's an air CC obviously the miners can't do a thing about it if it's Valks um, they're just gonna get cut to bits so what we want to be doing is uh, getting the CC so number one uh, King and Queen aren't as big of a deal because the miners will direct target them if they're being hit um, but still can get them but high concentrated areas of DPS like including splash so multiple wizard towers bomb towers along with Teslas next to them uh, just catastrophic for miners so what we want to do is make sure that we are picking up that value with the Queen walk slash Queen charge um, for reliable pathing and you don't have to waste all your heals uh, in the same place sometimes I use a rage on the miners just depends on what's going on um, but yeah so that's the attack guys that is the troop composition uh, and if there's anything else you want to know just let me know in the comments um, I can do this attack also not only without a CC but without the heroes uh, when that happens obviously the wall breakers are wasted but you are able to use the healers on each pack of miners so yeah either way guys that is just another really quick little um, video on an attack strategy at Town Hall 10 I use it for farming Dark Elixir we're gonna uh, pop into a live attack right now Lack is being hit by homes eh, it's a dip we're not gonna watch it sorry guys uh, but yeah um, so we're gonna have a look real quick at the composition just so you know why I use it 125 dark elixir now we look at my attack log 26 29 1400 3k 4k 2.4 2.7 4k 3 so you're making thousands and thousands of dark elixir especially down in the lower leagues where you don't have to rely on the win bonus you can actually snipe out a lot of resources so uh, it's a great farming strategy and it's a really effective attack on bases um, including bases with CC's I just took down a base just prior to this uh, with a CC full of balloons which are devastating on miners um, and it's all about that queen charge getting that stage set for the miners to go through so yeah again if you uh, want any specific attacks uh, let me know in the chat if I don't know it then that means I get to learn it as well um, and if there's anything else you want to see channel 9 channel 10 wise um, just make a comment in the chat and we'll see what we can do so thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you next time